So, my day started at 4.30 in the morning. I got like two hours of sleep the night before, which was good. No, not at all. It was terrible. So, we left the house by 6. It's like 6 a.m. Check it out. 6 a.m. I don't know if you can see that, but I can. And I'm about to leave to go to college. Yeah. Mom's got it. We stopped by Walmart and we returned some like super large shorts that you could fit like three of me in and we got food. Yum. So we arrived to campus and we go park in the go lot and we're driving down the road. Awesome. So we're driving down the road and we get to the go lot and I have to leave my fish in the car. So I'm like, oh my god, my fish is gonna die. But he doesn't, he's alive. So we get on the bus and we go and it's like just today was not my favor. To start with, turns out orientation didn't start at 9.45 like the email said. It started at 9.15. So we get there like way, way late. We missed the first half of the orientation. But we go because I need an academic advisor because I need to register for my classes. And turns out they don't really know what's up. So they tell me to go call this lady at Messick. So I do that and she's like, why don't you come over here and we'll register you for classes? But then she's totally discombobulated and somewhat distraught. Something about like having tons of stuff to do. She repeated herself several times about how she was like, I'm leaving by 1 p.m. and I'm so busy and we've had eight sessions. Eight sessions! She made that a very big point that they've had eight orientation sessions. She was like, you'd think these people would be done. No, apparently not. So this lady makes me fill out this pointless form and then we leave without having any help. She told us to go back to Messick at one o'clock, which we did. So we go back and we stay for the let's make friends kind of orientation because we're new students and we need to make friends. So then it, we ditch to go check on Iggy who is awesome in the car and alive and well and I changed his water and he's sitting in a plastic bag right now and I need to go fix that. So we go back, we take the bus back and we we eat lunch. I eat lunch at the Weston Dining Hall cafeteria food. So after that I, we go and we go back to Messick and we're like, oh, uh, we're gonna take the math placement test because that's kind of like what the lady told us. Eight times! Eight sessions! No one's there. My academic advisor is supposed to be there according to the schedule they gave us on this like green sheet or whatever. So we were like, oh my god, I'm gonna miss the math placement test. So we run all the way back over to the regular student center where it was, it like told us that we were scheduled to take the math test. And there it was, but, I mean, I was like 15 minutes late. I thought they'd already started the test or whatever, but they hadn't. They had lost the bubble sheets for, for the like grading whatever. So we couldn't even start the test, so we did this like name game, fun fact something. So I take the test and I probably failed because I was exhausted. And I'm almost just like, hopefully I won't get in remedial. That's the worst case scenario. I get out of the test. So we head over to Missick Building because that's what the schedule told us to do next, to go see my academic advisor so I could register for academic classes. And that doesn't work. Finally, we go back to the academic advising office and I meet up with this lady who actually knew what she was talking about and registered me for a class because a lot of the classes were full by now. Progress! So, the unpacking begins. Yes! We. Well, my room looks like. No roommate yet. To myself. Pretty awesome. Lovely pictures on the wall. And that's about it. Well, let's see. Um, I got up at nine. And I went to the gym for two hours, which was fantastic. And I got to use their pool, and I used the Olympic line I ran, and just all around awesome. Except for the like 80,000 guys lifting weights, looking over in that direction. 
That was not fun. And my roommate moved in. Here. See? Oh, and we unbucked the beds and stuff because she's tall and that's not good whenever you have bunk beds. So we basically like ripped apart my room and put it together again. And it took all of about five hours, but it was awesome. And I met a family and now I have a flat screen. See? It's so pretty. I, being the socially awkward person that I am, <laughs> have run out of things to do. So now I'm talking to a video camera. And I could be a party. Bam! Six of you. Well, it's not good that I can see myself. Sorry. Interrupted by me coming in. Probably thinking I'm a freak because I'm doing this vlog thing. But it's cool. And then I went to see the Hunger Games. Hunger Games! May the odds ever May the odds ever be in your favor. And honestly, I kind of- I was disappointed. It was like the casting was cute. Oh, I hung out with some Koreans. We played pool. And half the time I didn't know what they were saying because they were speaking in Korean. They were cool, I guess. Yeah. Okay.